There's a push to bring more national sporting events to Jacksonville. During tonight's city council meeting, there was a public hearing on a measure that would allocate over a million dollars to visit Jacksonville. News for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller spoke with local residents about the proposal. March Madness could make a return to Jacksonville. The city wants to allocate $1.5 million to visit Jacksonville and sports tourism to attract events like the NCAA tournament. We talked with several people walking on Riverwalk Wednesday, including Morgan Tenza, who works for Sporting Jacks, a professional soccer club bringing men and women's soccer to Jacksonville. For her, it's a no-brainer to attract more sporting events to town. Sports bring the community together. I've seen it happen here already. I've only lived here for a couple of months and already the sports world just brings you all together. So having more events here would be really fun. I know the Florida Georgia game is absolutely huge and bringing in tourism like that can definitely build the community, build up the hype. People don't look at Jacksonville as a very big sports city. So I think something like that would definitely bring it in. Jacksonville held opening rounds of the college basketball tournament between 2006 and 2019. The city hosted eight teams and saw an economic impact of $10 million. I spoke with Dwight Clay about his thoughts on bringing more sporting events to the area. It would definitely help the local economy and, uh, you know, tourism dollars. Like I said, being from New Orleans, I know a bit about, you know, what tourism can do uh, as far as the economic impact of it. So I think that it would help a lot of local vendors. It would help a lot of local artists. It would help a lot of locals in general with increasing um, the uh, tourism dollars. Morgan Abrahamson is a lifelong Jacksonville resident who wants the city to grow and believes in its potential. What are your thoughts on allocating that money there? Absolutely. I've been to the March Madness events before in the past. They were great. I think Jacksonville is a great host city for that type of thing. Um, there, I think, is a lot to be said about the infrastructure downtown and getting, you know, uh, accommodations for, you know, attracting a high volume of tourism. I think 100% on board with that. If they can make it happen, that'd be great for the city. Council did not vote on that ordinance during Wednesday's meeting, but if it does pass, Jacksonville's next chance to host the NCAA tournament would be in 2027. Reporting in the South Bank, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station.